Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome back to part 2 of my rally build setups for GT Sport series. So far I've just covered the Evo 4 uh, which came in with a time of 125.901, um, not quite beating the Ford Focus at 124.689. It was a pretty good effort and I think it was an excellent build actually and probably a lot more fun than the Focus to drive around. However today we're going to turn our attention to the Subaru Impreza WRX STI. It's another obvious choice from the list of cars that's in the game at the moment, but is it going to be fast enough to beat the Ford Focus? We'll have to wait and see, but for now let's take a look at the settings that I've put together for this rally build. The Subaru, like all the rally builds I've been doing uh, recently, does take a little bit of tweaking to get right. Um, I've got the power ratio here, as similar as I could to the Evo really, to be honest with you, but I've put that onto level four and taken it all the way up to 169%, which gives you 511 brake horsepower. Uh, weight reduction, I've left a bit of weight on the car. Again, I find it easier with these rally builds to actually um, leave a bit of weight so you can throw them around the corners. Uh, but I've taken that all the way down at level three there, uh, which leaves you at 1,370 kilograms. Uh, traction control, as with all of these rally builds, I've set to one. Again, you might actually find the cars better uh, set to zero, but for the purposes of these um, times and trying to set them correctly, I've left every car at one. Uh, dirt tires, front and rear. Um, brake balance, I've left at zero. Now ride height, again on the front and the rear, I've raised it up actually to 163, just like the Evo build. I found on uh, where they had it already, the car was actually bouncing too much on the jumps. Um, the frequency again, um, I've played with a little bit there and got it to 1.5 both front and rear. Anti-roll bar, um, to get that rear end sliding round, I've set that to eight on the back and six on the front. Uh, you do still get a little bit of understeer, but it is all very manageable. Uh, the damping ratio is 63, 63. I can't remember if I moved that at all. And the um, rebound there is 93, both front and rear. Camber angle is set to zero on the front and 1.5 on the back, uh, with the toe angle out on the front at 0.15. Just easier to catch those slides with that. And uh, it's set to in at 0.6 um, on the back. Um, in terms of the, the LSD, uh, it's set to 10, 40, 15, that's both front and rear. Um, you've got a 40, 60 split on the car as well. And the transmission, I've left exactly where it was. Uh, it seems to be running nicely for this uh, particular course. But again, you may want to change that if you're running on a different course. I hope you find these settings as usable as I do. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I've got new content coming out every week at the moment. Use the like button to let me know you enjoyed the video or the settings that I've created for you today. And drop me a comment down below if you'd like to see any different games being played here on the channel or if you'd like to see a specific setup from GT Sport. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you with the three laps I completed with the Subaru Impreza. Will it beat the Ford Focus? Let's have a look and find out. I'll see you on the next video.